So I haven't talked much about it, but I've been doing this project with these trees back here. I have three of them. They are arborvitas. I took them up. <clears throat> I found someone who was getting rid of them on Facebook Marketplace, so I dug them up. But it doesn't look like they made it. <clears throat> but I'm digging up some more that I'm going to plant along here, so hopefully those do. <coughs> I'm just prepping the area where I'm going to plant the next trees down the line. But I have to be careful not to dig these up. Because they're the only thing supporting this tree at the moment. Huh? Those other ones doing, okay. They're okay. Yeah. I think what I'm going to do this time is dig a trench 
because it's easy to dig up actually. It's all sandy. Um, and that way I can put it exactly where I need it because the roots are not that deep. They're just yeah. like this and maybe like that. And so I think what's the problem with these is that there are air pockets under the roots that were there that I planted on top of. So anyway, but I can't dig where these are. So I'm yeah. like trying to whatever. But anyway, so we have, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, like enough to go past that tree right there. Cool. Yep, so I'm, I'm going to call the uh, people with the U-Haul and make sure that they still do the 24-hour thing. U-Haul trailer? Yeah. yeah. They definitely do the 24-hour thing. But you never know, you might get somebody returning it today, you know? Yeah. Uh, the one that you need. Online it says that the 6x12 is available. Yeah, 6x12 works. Yikes, what happened here? Sometimes you don't know what's going on until spring. Also, I'm not really sure what happened here. This was pushed over. Look how much it's grown. This is the one I wasn't sure of. Under the spirea, which does have a ton of buds. And there are just a couple that are blooming. There. Some here are just starting. There. I think I'm just gonna push it down. All the irises are blooming and their smell is super intense. And then here's the Coral of Charm peony. Over here by these new hostas that I got from my friend Sherry, there's this clump of what looks like columbine, and I've been wondering what it is because it looks so much like columbine, but I've never seen any flowers. And then today, I noticed this. It looks like a columbine flower. Can't wait to see what color it is. And then behind the columbine is this newer flower bed. I guess it's not that new. That one's more new. But anyway, uh, there's the plane, of course. It's in full sun right now, but you can see above there, there are mulberries. And as soon as the mulberries fill in, this will all be mostly shade. So I'm just going to weed this whole area and then dig.
this is why the wall is going up. So I had to stop working in that area for a minute and I decided to mulch this area. This is the area next to our driveway, and I just kind of weeded it, added some mulch from that pile, and I'm going to continue to the other end of it. Say so, hi! There's my helper. This is what we did today. Make sure you grab the other shovel. Okay. One, two, well, one, two, three. Four, that one's 19 feet, and then we have two more. Okay, so I didn't think we could do it, but we got four more of the trees, the arbs, from the Facebook Marketplace. Really cool people. They helped us dig and load and everything, and we have three more to go. And they're gonna go there, hopefully survive though. They're so heavy and not ready to plant, so I'm just doing this and hoping this is going to keep them alive. Check out the area here by the new fence. The yarrow has really shot up and then there are flowers here and here. I have three varieties of yarrow, two of them have buds. And then the rose salvia already has a couple blooms. So excited for that. And then the top, that right there, is cat mint and artemisia. These little daffodils that Valen and I planted in the winter. So cute. They just popped up everywhere. There's the phlox. And that is the daisy. And it also has tons of buds. And on this side of the fence, we have piglet. So much growth compared to like last week feels so soft, too. There's Eeyore, the weeping white spruce. Lots of growth. Which makes me super excited because he, it, worries me because of this balding area. Not really sure what's going on here. But anyway, the new growth, like I said, promising. If you have like a cardboard box or something, those are robins. Mm -hmm. Go ask your, go ask them up. I'm so sorry. We've got seven more. Hector, say hi. Hector Selfie. <laughs> that was right here, so. I'm not holding the tree at all, so. Oh, that's a good sign. <laughs> I can't pull the rope at all. Oh, oh there my we bad, go. My bad. So I'm holding it. Okay. <laughs> <Huh. laughs> my angle. <laughs> well. Uh...
have a star or anything in you, dude. No, over there. Ow. What? Over there with Hector. I got this one. Okay, Jared, don't break Just this. Be flipping it out. This is the one thing you have to worry about. And that. I was probably just getting past all these. Yeah. So, so where is this one going? Right there? Yeah, right next. It's okay. going to go around the corner and then... No, yeah, next to that one? Yeah. Okay. Why don't you want to do the tall one next to the tall one? How are you going to have... When you have other trees, you have to get past this area to okay, plant okay. it up. Right. Should I go on that side or this side? Go on the side. Yep, everyone on there. Yeah, you're everyone down there. I got yeah, this. Yeah, where you are. Okay. This is way too tall. But if we just move them over. Yeah. 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 Can go. Well, can't you like dip it down and then... No. <laughs> Watch the power line. <laughs> Is it on the power line or it No, on? you just made it past the power line. Okay. I don't think it's in a, like any a hole at all. Maybe it's just like pull it over the ground. So what are you gonna do? I want you to hold it. Okay. Or I can hold it and you can I'm do under it. it. Well, like, you could just dip it to the side a little bit and move it under there. And then it's... Okay. Um, See, I'm going to put, like, look, look up. So if there's nothing there, so you can probably howl. I think it needs to come actually this way a little more. That way or your way? That way. What's your name, Alan? Um, your way. No, there's a small... You want to be taking that tree. Right. Sure, that'd be good. So I'm going to turn this way so that I... Uh, why, why won't my idea work? Because there's an open space up there. It's right under where that is. It'd be perfect if you could just dip it down this way and then move it up. Sure. Sure. Okay. You didn't have to hold the whole thing. <laughs> yeah, let's fuck this down with this tree. Yeah, actually, it's on the put... line. It's on the line. Okay. 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 Yeah, I've got a couple more minutes on this lawn. Take this one out then? Let's move this guy. Just take this one out. <laughs> <laughs> Casually.
Well, we got four up. You can see them right there. We have this one to go, and then those two big ones. The flowers under the weeping pig and cherry just finally bloomed. <laughs> 